the patriarch on the seven string Benedetto guitar. Please welcome back, Bucky Pizzarelli. Enjoy the show. Legendary jazz guitarist Bucky Pizzarelli died in April 2020 at the age of 94 from the coronavirus. Born in Patterson, New Jersey in 1926, the master rhythm guitar player toured with Benny Goodman, played in the Tonight Show Orchestra, and was loved and revered, especially in his home state. State of the Arts met up with the Pizzarelli Family Quartet in 2012 at one of their favorite Jersey clubs, Shanghai Jazz in Madison, where family patriarch Bucky was joined by his sons John and Martin. John stole everything from me. There you go. <laughs> Stolen would be a good word. That's the word he applies. <laughs> I never gave any lessons. He used to watch me and then he used to do it. He's a very talented guy. On the job training. Yeah. It's, uh, it's complete. It's a blur. Yeah, it's a blur. It, it is a blur to most guitar players, but it's a, it's a, it's a complete, uh, it's the complete vision of what a guitar player is. Rhythm, chord melody, single note, it's all there. So you got to keep your eye on it. If you have a chance to, you, and you're that close, you just keep an eye on it at all times. started with my uncles, uh, Peter, Peter and Bobby Dominic. They lived in Patterson. And on Sundays, uh, they were always playing the banjos and mandolins and guitars every Sunday afternoon. That was our, our entertainment. And uh, I wanted to join in, so they showed me a few chords. And then I started to like the guitar. And I started studying with Uncle Pete. And uh, Uncle Bobby was on the road with uh, name bands. Buddy Rogers, Raymond Scott, Bob Chester, everybody. Dix the Beal. <laughs> and he was always coming home and showing me a chord that nobody else knew. <laughs> so I got hooked. You know, the only way you get to talk to these guys is to learn Honeysuckle Rose. <laughs> Not unless they won't talk to you. They just are always playing the guitar. So you wanted to find out anything. You better learn an instrument that you could actually have a conversation. <laughs> but that was the fun of it, you know, because. Uh, same thing, you know, we got together on Sundays at Vera's house or somewhere and everybody sang a song at the end. And, you know, uh, as he got busier when I was a teenager, they'd say, well, at the party on Sunday, he was working, they'd say, well, you play. So I had to learn all the songs, you know, and that's how we all gather and we still do that. Everybody's learning the tunes. Jazz in New Jersey really reflects jazz in the world. We have the best there are world-class artists who travel all over the world but then choose to make New Jersey their home. I have to thank my lucky stars because we've gotten to know great musicians like the Pizzarellis. I've known Bucky Pizzarelli since practically the, you know, the first few months we opened and he makes Shanghai Jazz his regular stop, where his, he calls us his monthly gig. Where, where, so every month he's here and graces us with his presence. It's been a, nothing but a big delight. And we, the people receive us beautifully. And you can hear a pin drop on a second set, you know, after they finish eating. And it's like a concert hall. We do play all over the place, but then, you know, sometimes you have, you want to want to work something out, or we have a chance to do, we don't get to work that often together on the road, so we're home together, they'll say, you want to go play at Shanghai? It, and it's important because we're able to keep our chops fresh, and before we go out and do another six weeks uh, around, you know, Western United States or, or China or wherever we're headed next, you know. Well, you can't beat blood. It's my favorite quote. <laughs> <laughs> we just think it's a whole other thought process that goes on when you when you 
relatives. Yeah. So you can always tell. We joke around a lot, but we know where... We do everything together. Yeah. <laughs>